Well, here's a couple of questions where we need to solve equations, and they involve fractions, everybody's favorite. So I use the clear fractions, or I call it the I hate fractions rule. And the I hate fractions rule, or clear fraction rule, says basically that you can, if you do one thing to one term, as long as you do it to every term, that's legal. You can't just do it to one or two terms, you've got to do them all. So, um, the concept that we work on is that we look at the denominators of each term. So here's a term, here's a term, and here's a term. So 18 doesn't have a denominator written, but I know I can always put a 1 there. So I look at 3 and 1 and look for the lowest common denominator. And the lowest common denominator of that is going to be 3. So, what I'm going to do is I'll take each term, so that one and this one, and this one, don't forget the 18, and I'm going to multiply them all by 3. And multiply by 3. Okay, so on the first one, um, 3 times negative 7 is negative 21, divided by 3, I think is negative 7x. And you can do that portion there on your calculator. Same thing with the next one, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 divided by 3 I think is 2, so it'll be plus 2 is equal to... And then 3 times negative 18 divided by 1 if you want, but 3 times yeah. negative 18 I think is negative 54. Okay, so now I've gone from an equation with fractions, which looks scary, to an equation that's a little bit more normal, I guess, just with in integer numbers. So I want to isolate the x, so I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. Subtract 2. So this would be negative 7x is equal to negative 56. And then once I have that, I, again, I want to isolate the x. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7. And so x is equal to whatever. Oh, negative divided by negative. It's going to be positive. 56 divided 7 is going to be 8. Okay, so 8 is my answer. Let's try one more. Just for There we go. So oh, we have more fractions here. So what I need to do is I need to multiply every term by a lowest common denominator. So the lowest common denominator here, the smallest number that all of these numbers will divide into evenly. So it's always at least as big as the, as the biggest number there. So um, uh, I'm thinking the lowest common denominator here, here would be 10. You could use 20, because 5 and 10 will go into 20. You could use, you couldn't use 15. You could use 30 because 5 and 10 will go into that. Uh, and those would all work, but it's easier to pick the lowest one. Okay, so I'm going to take the 9 fifths y and the 4 tenths y. Notice I leave a little bit of space there. And 66 10. And I'm going to multiply each of those by the lowest common denominator, which I found to be 10. Okay, 10, 10. Okay, so in the first one, 10 times 9 is 90, divide 5, I think, is 18, plus uh, the next one here, uh, the tens cancel out. You could go 10 times 4 is 40, divide 10, but I think it'll come out to 4. And then on the next one, 10 times 66, 660, divided by 10, comes out to 66. And again, you can do that on your calculator. Okay? And then um, these are y's, so I can add them. So I'll be 22y is equal to 66. And then um, divide both sides by 22. Divide 22, divide 22. So y is equal to 66 over 22. And maybe if you divide that on your calculator, I think that comes out bang on to 3. Okay, so there's a couple of questions with solving equations with fractions in them.